Hi, in this video, we are going to continue the coding of HTML and CSS3 for the web design project. And this is a list of steps how you should um, use this video, some of the suggestions how to follow the steps. And um, the references for this video can be found on this website. And we work, we open two subfolders. The, um, the code, coding subfolder and uh, slicing subfolder. Okay, so both are open, and we are editing files in the coding subfolder, which is which is here, and the slicing subfolder file is here for our reference. Okay, all right. So let's go to the style.css of the uh, the folder thirty two coding. And we were doing it halfway, and we need to add a couple of stuff here. I'm going to quickly add some standard stuff. The this files actually can be downloaded from the website. So it's pretty straightforward. And um, first thing we want to do is to take care of the pseudo class of the links. Okay, link visited and home. As you can see, I'm copy and pasting, but you can always type it in. Okay, and then the Active as well, so that will take care of the links. Save your work and look at the look at the file that is from this folder. Obviously, nothing is there yet. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is actually do the actual coding here. We're going to add something to the body, but before that, let us look at. Um, what it looks like in in the slicing folder, if you s export this from Dreamweaver, they are going to just build a table around it. And then first row is a row and things like that, but that is not exactly what we want, okay? We actually want to, let me, let me go to Fireworks and do this. We actually want to put this in a header and put the bottom in the section and then put it in the footer, so on and so forth, okay? So let's do that. So in the body, I'm going to create a header. And I'm going to create a section. And I'm going to create a footer. Control S to save. And come back here, reload. Nothing is happening right now. But we are going to change the CSS file. So as you can see here, the header is going to. You can see it from here. Okay. Um, what's the height you want and things like that. So. The height of the header I want is actually 220. That's the height. And the width obviously is 180. Or you can see from here, um, the sliced image, if you add all the height together, okay, you will come up to 220 for the header. So let's do that. So in the style, we scroll down a little bit. And we say, in the header, the width is 980. Pixel, the height is 420 pixel, and the background color is. Um, it's one of the background color we you can get a background color from the palette that we did or, or use the eyedropper to get it from here okay that's possible so let's see what we have now okay so you create a header and that background color can be obtained from fireworks easily using that so you create a header and inside the header we are going to create a couple of things okay 
first thing we want to do is the first row. You can get the first row from the fireworks here, which is 15 height. Or you can actually check it from here, this, the sliced image. The first one is height is of 15. Okay. But you have to convert that to here. So inside the header, I'm going to create a div tag. Okay. I'm going to create a div tag and I'm going to call it r1, which is row one. And then I'm going to change the style and I will say for my R1 pound, which is ID, the height is 15 pixel and the width is 80 pixel. You can put a pipe first or width first, it doesn't really matter, but some people like width first, so you can always put a width first, it's up to you. Okay, so we save here. Obviously, if you come over here, you don't see anything. Okay, if you want to see something to just make sure that everything is correct, you can always change the background color to white or something or black. And you know that you made a mistake, okay? So you need to change this to R1. Then you know that it's black. Oh, let's try white, maybe it's bad. So you know that, hey, I'm doing the right thing, okay? So you can actually comment this guy out. Later you can reuse it for the next row. Am I doing the right thing? Okay. The second thing you are going to do is obviously um, the whole thing here. So that is um, you can you need to approximate a little bit of position. I think that it may be um, so 18, 80 divided by uh, 80 minus um, 15 will give you 65. Or you can get it from here. Okay, that is what you try to achieve, the 65, which is the big second row, okay, R2. So let me go back to here and say, I'm going to create my row 2. I just copy this, paste it here. And inside row 2, I'm going to have multiple rows. So that's why I put it inside row. So this is my R2, and I go to my style. And I will have my R2 here. I can copy and paste. Okay. Um, Ctrl C is copy, Ctrl V is paste. And I have my R2 here. R2 is of height 65 pixels. And the background is white. So I come over here. Create my second row, and that is correct. Okay, and I don't really need this, so I'm going to comment it out. So, second row is commented out. And um, the next thing I want to do is to create a couple of things in the second row. Second row com contains a lot of things, obviously, as one box here and um, if you know this we did the slicing we have a couple of boxes here and then so on and so forth okay so that's the next thing we are going to do and um, sorry not here and we are going to continue here inside r2 and the styles are going to be saved in
So let's see the um, first thing we want to do for R2 is is the tag is is the box on the left here. Okay. So let's just do. Okay, let's just copy from here. And we're going to call it R2 C1. Okay. And in the styles, we are going to say our R2 C1 is going to be going to be height is going to be 65 because that's within R2 so it should be 65 and the width is going to be 40 and I want the background color to be white so I can see it and I'm going to float it left so when you come here and reload, you will see that this is your R2 C1. And then your R2 C2 is going to be your image, okay? That this is your image that you want, okay? That's your R2 C2. And you can see it from here. This is your... Okay, so let's do that. this so I will have my R2C2 here and let me just do R2C3 as well okay and um, yep so let's do R2C2 first R2C2 will be, okay, first let me comment out this, and then second we are going to do R2C2, the width is going to be 410, height is going to be 45, and obviously flow left, I'm comment the background color so I can see it. Reload. So this is your R2C2. R2C2 will have a couple of things inside. We're going to take care of it later. Meanwhile, we are going to do C3 and C4 and C5. Okay. So obviously, C3 is going to be this, C4 is going to be this, and C5 is going to be this. So let's quickly finish it. So we have our C3, we have our C4, and C5. Okay. All right. So for C2, we are done. C3 probably would be slightly narrower. So let me just quickly put it there. Let's comment out C2. Let's go C3. C3, the width will be around 65 pixels. Oh, sorry, 55 pixels. Height will be 65 pixels. And check out the background color is white first. So we have done C3, and then C4 is this piece, and C5 is this piece. So let's comment out the C3. Let's look at C4. The width would be six. The width would be 435, and the 
height would be 65. Put it back on. Come here. Come here, reload. That's C4. Finally, let's do C5. So, comment out C4. C5. C5 is the last one. So the height will be 65. The width would be 40. Reload, you should be able to see C5. You don't really need to flow left for C5 anymore, okay? Um, so you can actually take it out. That shouldn't affect your... That shouldn't affect... Oh, it does affect. So let's just put the flow back in first. Okay, so that's good. And um, let's comment on this. Okay, so we are halfway through the R2. Okay, we haven't um, finished because inside the C2 and inside um, C4, we still have things. As you can see, there are multiple slices in here. Okay, two slices and a multiple, three slices here. So we have to do that as well. I think it's a good place to stop for this video. So we are going to stop here. In the next video, we are going to go into the R2C2 and R2C4. Thanks for watching.